friends. Today I am coming at you with something that doesn't sound right. What's up internet friends? My name is Lindsay and today I'm telling you all the books that I read in the month of November. So let's get started. I'm just going to burn through the books in the order that I read them. I'm going to tell you a little about them and then tell you what I rated them. Uh, it's going to be a quick wrap up this month. To be honest, I read nine books and two of them were graphic novels which is fine. Uh, it's, I really was aiming for more books read in November, but what can you do? Uh, nine's a pretty good number. There were quite a few read reads for me, but anyways, let's just get into it. I'm excited to tell you all about it. So the first book I read in the month of November was An Unkindness of Magicians by Kat Howard, I believe. Mm -mm, yes. I actually read this book during my very first vlog on YouTube or booktube. So if you want to check that out, I'll go ahead and tag that at the top of the screen, wherever that is. It's a terrible vlog. I mean, it's not a terrible vlog, but it, it's literally my very first vlog ever. So I stumble a lot. It's pretty, it's rough. So this book is about the unseen world, which is the magical world and everywhere else, which is the mundane world that is non-magical. And the Unseen World has a ruler and that ruler is from a specific house. So all these old magician families have houses like the House of Merlin and everything like that. Our main character is from the House of Shadows? I couldn't remember. Our main character is from the House of Shadows. There's a magical tournament and each house submits their champion to go fight in this magical tournament and the duels progress from innocent to life-threatening as the book goes on or as the tournament goes on. I mean, this book has everything, all the major buzzwords, right? Like magic, tournament, uh, duels, training, uh, house of shadows, all these fantastical things that really, really were, were great. The only parts of this story that I think could be improved on were the duels they seem to be you know hyped up a lot that they're these dangerous duels and yet the duels are basically two sentences and then you're done and that was kind of a letdown because that was what i was reading the story for the most is the tournament and the duels and the fighting and the magic but this book is a lot more political and strategy based and it, it just wasn't my favorite and it kind of let me down a little bit, but writing was beautiful. The characters were engaging. The story was good. I just, I needed it to be maybe longer so that we could have longer duels. I mean, it's a pretty short book, but um, I gave this book three out of five stars. The second book I read in the month of November was a reread for me, and that was Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. And this is the third Harry Potter book in this series. This book is so much fun. I for I haven't reread the series in a very long time. I say that every time I mention this book on my channel or mention this series on my channel, but I haven't reread it in so long and I've missed out on so many details. This just has so many elements that I really, really love, like the Night Bus, Professor Lupin, you know, Buckbeat, and the Marauder's Map, and Sirius Black. I'm speechless. We all know Harry Potter. Y'all know The Prisoner of Azkaban. I reread it. I love it. Obviously, five out of five stars. The next book I read in the month of November was Challenger Deep. Was Ta Challenger Deep. The next, ah, okay. The next book I read in the month of November was Challenger Deep by Neil Shusterman. This book deals with mental illness and it follows a young boy who is, we're in between two realities of him on a pirate ship and him in his everyday life. It's hard for me to, you know, give this book a rating or talk much about this book because I don't know if this specific mental rep is legit. If it's a very accurate representation of mental health, I have no idea. But I did enjoy it. The story was interesting enough. It was, it was okay. It was an okay story. It was written in a way that made you, it was very jarring from chapter to chapter, from jumping into this reality to the next reality. So it was very 
disorienting and confusing and I I'm almost 100% positive that was an intentional aspect of this book to make the readers kind of feel like they understand what the actual character is going through a little bit. However, I did leave this book with an anxious feeling and a not so great feeling. So just reader be warned going into it. It might not make you feel the best, but I did love it and I gave it four out of five stars. Would recommend if you're interested. Okay, the fourth book I read in the month of November was Long Way Down by Jason Reynolds. This book follows a main character who is taking a ride in an elevator from his floor all the way to the bottom floor. We learned very early in this book that his brother has been shot by another gang member and so he is planning retaliation. And so this whole book is written in verse. It's very, very quick to get through. Um, but it's hard hitting for sure because you're following the decisions and the thought process of this young boy who is going to make or is thinking about making this life altering decision and going down a certain path that you can't come back from. And it was, uh, it was hard hitting. I really enjoyed it. There were a couple parts that I, I didn't, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to say I enjoyed it. Can I just say that? Can I just say I enjoyed this and move on? I enjoyed it. It left me feeling a little bit sad, but all in all, I gave it four out of five stars. Would recommend if you haven't read this yet. The next two books I read were graphic novels. I don't have physical copies, so I will put two photographs, two copies of the covers here, and that is Moonstruck Volume 1 and Moonstruck Volume 2. These graphic novels were so fucking cute, and I read through them in a day. It was great. I just needed something quick to get through, and a light picked me up, and these were just what I needed. I have to say, out of the two volumes, I do like Volume 1 more than I like Volume 2 only because I don't really care about the storyline in volume two. Volume one, you know, we're just meeting the characters, there's world building, all this fun stuff. Uh, I mean, the plot's not the best. The story is, I don't want to say it's like mediocre, but it's, it's like an entry level story for the series to just like build off and kick off from there. Uh, it was, it, I love the artwork. The artwork is super adorable and sweet. I gave both volumes three out of five stars. So I'm going to breeze through the seventh and eighth books here because they were Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire and Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, we have the Triwizard Tournament. Harry Potter and the Order of Phoenix, we have the Order of the Phoenix and Dumbledore's Army. We also have you know, Cho and Harry, just tragedy also that just, you know, smashes your heart. I'm not going into spoilers, but anyways, we all know these stories. I'm not going to sit here and ramble about them, even though I could for a very long time. I know them. I love them. Five out of five stars. The last book I read in the month of November was Sea of Monsters, the Percy Jackson and the Olympians. This is the second almost the third. This is the second book in the series and this is my first time reading the series. I've only ever watched the first two movies it turns out. I didn't even know I watched this movie but when I was reading this book I realized a lot triggered my memory and I actually did see the second movie that had come out. Like I mentioned in my previous wrap-up for Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief, I think the movie just ruined my experience. Every time I read these books I just picture the terrible children actors and just bad CGI and everything. So I am turning 30 in just a few days. So maybe I'm just a little too old for the series, but I did enjoy the adventures that Percy and his friends go on. I enjoyed this, the Cyclops aspect, aspect, aspect character. I did enjoy the Cyclops in the, the Cyclops is, in the story. Those were pretty interesting. I haven't read a book about Cyclopses or had Cyclops in them. Anyways, I'm gonna I'm gonna still continue on even though these are not my favorites. They're classics. I have to read them. I have the whole series. So 
on to the next. I don't know what to say. I gave this three out of five stars. Like I said, I'm way out of the age range for this, so take it with a grain of salt. If you're into these books, awesome, wonderful. I think I'm just a little too old for them. And that's gonna do it for my November wrap up. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. All right, thanks for watching, bye.